Hey guys, I just had to do this quick video <laughs> because somebody out there really needs to laugh and um, this involves my brother. So those of you that are on my Facebook page, you know that the other day, uh, my brother and I, my sister, we had stopped and I got my mom some flowers. We got her some lunch, you know, we just wanted to have a special time with my mom. But what I forgot to tell you was something that had happened just after I had gotten the flowers for my mom. See, this is the little place I came to. Hold on. See that? I think you could see it. Petal Park Floral Gifts. Cute little place. Just a cute little place. So here's my story. I'm going to kill my brother. Well, I should have killed him at the time, but I just remembered what he had done. So I go in there and when I first walk in, there was um, a, a mom and a daughter in there and they're planning a wedding. So I just thought, no big deal. You know, I'll go over to the cooler and I'll pick out a cute little bouquet of flowers for my mommy, you know, blah, 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 you know. And then I realized there are no, there are no flowers in the cooler. So I'm kind of standing there for a couple minutes and then I'm thinking, you know, I don't have all day to wait for these people to go through this whole huge album of flowers. So I very respectfully ask, do you mind if I just ask uh, her a question? They're like, no, oh my God, go ahead. No, don't worry about it. So I'm talking to the owner and I said, um, I go, I see you don't have any flowers in the cooler from what I could see out here. I said, I'm trying to get a, a bouquet for my mom. And I explained to her that my mom's, you know, going through chemo and she has cancer and I'm trying to make her a pretty, you know, a pretty floral arrangement, you know, something to brighten up her day. And she's like, no, no problem. She goes, I actually have them on the inside. And so she has me go in and I pick out these beautiful, you know, the yellow daisies, whatever. I come back out. So she has to go and put those together because they're just in this arrangement box and she has to make a, an arrangement in a glass vase for me. So while I'm standing out there, I start a conversation with the family at the counter. And we're talking about how the woman is having rose gold as her colored scheme. And we're talking about family. I mean, we're just talking, talking. I'm two feet away from these people, not even. And then the woman comes out. We're all talking about family and cancer and this. I mean, I was in there for kind, kind of a bit talking to these people. I get out into the car. We start driving. We get we pick up my sister. And then we get to Applebee's. I can't remember if this happened before I picked up my sister or after, but I remember putting, pulling down the um, rear view mirror and um, wanting to put some lipstick on. And I realized <laughs> that uh, I definitely did not check my makeup before I left the house. I was kind of like I'd taken, anyway, I just got up and I left. And I had done some work earlier that morning. I had laid down and taken a little nap a little bit later, you know. So I had, it looked like I had been crying, like crying, like black mascara running down my face. It was up in my eyelids, big blue globs of eyeshadow stuck in my eyes. I mean, I had black everywhere. I looked like somebody had beat the hell out of me. And I look at my brother and I go, Mike. <laughs> Oh my God, I go, why did you let me go into the flower shop like this? He's like, like what? I go, look at my face. I go, there's makeup all over my, I'm like, I look like, like a raccoon. And he's like, I thought you knew. And I'm like thinking, what? You thought I knew I looked like this and I went into public and I was talking to people? And <laughs> just like, <laughs> so ladies <laughs> listen listen the men they're not complicated i promise they're so easy they're just like they think box they think box you know they don't care <laughs> and it's not that they don't care they just easy life man easy easy life you know it's just like you know we're down we're down in florida we're floating on a boat we're cruising you know we're cruising through the sand on, on a buggy or something i don't know it's just like my brother just did not care <laughs> i'm like i'm still looking i'm like you let me get out of the car like this Oh my God, Mike, I held like a 15 minute conversation with two of the women in that, in that play. They're probably looking at me going, did this woman not look in a mirror this morning? Like, did they, does she not understand? Now see, I'm the kind of person I say, Hey baby, you know, your mascara's run. I got no problem helping a woman out and saying, I got your back. Look, your tag sticking out in the back. Oh, your bra straps showing. Look, boogie hanging out your nose. Got no problem telling people I would want to know. But no, my brother says, I thought you knew. 
I thought you knew. No, Mike, I'm just letting you know I didn't know. Nope, did not know. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, hope y'all laughed. <laughs>